They're enough to make you want to throw your TV out of the window. Welcome to Watch Mojo UK, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 annoying reality TV stars. Um, yeah. I bullied her as much as I could for three months, and she finally caved in, and Jennifer wrote me apart. It was amazing. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're using the broadest possible definition of star to include anyone who rose to fame or is best known for appearing on reality TV shows. We're ranking them based on press coverage and online comment, and of course, they have to be British, so Irish duo Jedward don't make the list, however much we'd like them to. Number 10. Spencer Matthews A former Etonian and London socialite, Matthews is also the brother-in-law of Pippa Middleton. Spencer rose to fame after appearing on the E4 scripted reality series Made in Chelsea, where he slept with half the women on the show while seemingly dating the other half. Are you taking the piss? You must be taking the absolute piss. Mind you, he's also notorious for his short stint on I'm a Celebrity Get Me Out of Here, where he was forced to leave the jungle after just three days for taking steroids. His reason? Because he wanted to look good in the shower. This stink. What of? Ugh. Number 9. Chantelle Horton Horton first appeared on our screens as a fake star in the Celebrity Big Brother house in 2006. I describe myself as fun, a bit dizzy, outrageous. After winning the show, Chantelle joined the ranks of those quote-end-quote celebrities who are famous simply for being famous, appearing to carve a career out of selling every detail of her life to magazines and tabloid newspapers. Among the other things you never wanted to know about her, Chantel once revealed that she'll never stop using lip fillers. Hold the front page, it's truly gripping stuff. I've lost my mind or anything and I'm not about to go crazy, I just, it's just helping me feel a bit more confident. Number 8. Chloe Ferry The Sun once suggested Ferry was the most appalling Geordie Shaw star ever, and that's against some pretty stiff competition. I've come out of the house, I felt more like a woman, like I went in a girl and I've come out like a woman because I'm hanging around with all their people. Cast members on the MTV show aren't known for their restraint or modesty, but Ferry lowered the bar to a whole new level, with one of her co-stars describing her as a human wrecking ball. Everyone thinks you're embarrassing! In 2017, she survived just one week in Celebrity Big Brother, yet still found time to achieve something we never thought possible, making us feel sorry for John from Jedward. Number 7. Kim Woodburn What do you do in this place you call a home? A former co-host of lifestyle programme How Clean Is Your House, Woodburn has since become best known for her combative appearances on I'm a Celebrity and Celebrity Big Brother. Kim once claimed she never goes looking for trouble, but she still has a remarkable ability of finding it. Don't you dare speak to Sit me! Sit down! Don't you dare speak right, to me like guys. that! Maybe there's a serious in that alone. In Celeb Big Brother, her endless bickering saw her nominated by her housemates to face every eviction she was eligible for, and she was even once removed from the main part of the house by the show's security. You're Kim, talking Kim, about Kim, decency? Kim. Oh, come on, darling. I know, I need to take you upstairs, though. Number 6. Joey Essex In general, most of the cast of The Only Way is Essex seem to top lists on things that most annoy British people, narrowly nudging cold callers into second place. So I'll take her out. Uh, bowling. And after watching Joey Essex in action, you might be forgiven for wondering if he actually is the dumbest man alive, but most believe his relentless daftness is just an act to make him seem lovable. Oh. Joey, what was Jesus' mum called? I put Jesus. In fact, in her autobiography, former fiancé Sam Fayers claims Essex plays up to his media image as a little boy lost, and that his personality away from the cameras is very different. I love the fact that she thinks that Essex was named after me. I love this girl. Number 5. Rylan Clark Neal Rylan got his big break in 2012 when he appeared in the live finals of The X Factor, and he followed that up by winning Series 11 of Celebrity Big Brother. Everyone sort of looked at me as a bit of a joker and then people couldn't be more wrong. Renowned for his relentless energy and outlandish outfits, Rylan once said he would rather go without food than spend less on cosmetic improvements. As a TV presenter, he's admired by many for his flamboyant character, but others dismiss him as a shallow, fame-hungry diva, saying his cringing histrionics can quickly become tiresome. Oh, you got that in your bathroom. Oh, my mum's gonna be 
he's so proud. <laughs> More than anyone else on this list, he definitely divides opinion. What? What? Why is it get off me? Get off me! It's a moth. It was a little moth. I do not know what it was. Number four, Nikki Graham. If you thought tantrums were typical of toddlers only, well, think again. A love or hate housemate, Graham has gone down in Big Brother folklore for her momentous meltdowns over everything from bananas to air conditioning. But her most explosive and infamous outburst came when she was nominated for eviction by a new housemate whom she barely knew. Who is she? Who is she? Who is she? Where did you find her? A decade later, Graham appeared on Big Brother Canada to the irritation of all seven viewers, and it seemed the intervening years had done nothing to mellow her character. I've got no one in this hole. I just can't take it anymore. I just gone. Number three, Honey G. If you've never before heard of Honey G, steady yourself for the wave of people wishing to trade places with you. Hi, my name's Honey G, and I'm a genuine urban artist. Straight out of Harrow, the 2016 X Factor rapper insists that she's not a comedy act despite one newspaper likening her to a French and Saunders sketch. And when Honey G reached the live finals of the show, some viewers were so incensed that they launched a petition to have her booted off. The determined performer finished fifth in the competition though, thereby making a true mockery of the idea that this is a talent show. Number 2. Gemma Collins As probably the best known star of The Only Way is Essex, Gemma Collins has developed quite a reputation as a self-centred diva. And I lucky for you, you've got to snog JC. In 2014, she briefly graced I'm a Celebrity, where she compared herself to adventurer Bear Grylls before quizzing the show after only three days. If they don't give us a treat in a couple of days, I am going to kill myself, and I'm, I'm thinking how I can do it. Two years later, her stint on Celebrity Big Brother led to OK Magazine asking if she was the most hated housemate ever. I've got to be honest, Big Brother, like... I don't think, I think I should leave the house, I'm shit at games. Colin spent her time complaining and opting out of tasks, and the public eventually gave its verdict on her behaviour in very vocal fashion. <laughs> Number 1. Katie Hopkins Before Hopkins rose to prominence as a controversy-touting media commentator, she was a contestant on The Apprentice and by the time she dropped out at the semi-final stage, she'd already made a lasting impression with her outspoken opinions on her colleagues and rivals. Adam is responsible, and Christina, for being a complete snake in the grass, a complete pain in the arse, and frankly far too orange to be taken seriously. Since then, as well as many other things, she sparked outrage by comparing migrants to cockroaches and judging children by their names. A name for me is a shortcut. It's and a really does, efficient way of working out what class that child comes from. Do I want my children to play with them? Though dismissed by many as a professional troll, Hopkins seems determined to demand attention with views that are at best provocative and at worst outright offensive. You are Dr. Frankenstein and I am your monster. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo UK and subscribe for more great content.